Hey everyone, welcome back to the Supplement Institute. You remember me from our previous videos. I'm Kyle Johnson, your host of the Supplement Institute's videos. Uh, we're really excited. I am personally so excited to get back with you all. I've had so many questions, uh, especially in our comment section our, on our previous eight or nine videos we did on, hey, one of the videos coming back. I want to subscribe. I'm following. I haven't seen anything else. But you guys can probably imagine what went, what went wrong there, right? Uh, the last year, kind of a bummer for most people unless you owned Amazon or some sort of a delivery service for groceries. Uh, it's kind of a bummer of a year. A bummer of a year for us as well, for me personally and my family. Uh, but it looks like things are on the up and up. COVID is being dealt with. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll leave it at that. Um, so we're back, and I'm excited to be with you again. We're going to start, as people are getting back into the gym, we're going to start our second inaugural episode, so to speak, on a gym supplement that's in most pre-workouts. This one is on L-citrulline, an amino acid. Let's dive in and get started. All right, so L-citrulline, what is it? What does it do? Why are we taking it? How much do we need to take? Those are the four main questions we try to answer here. So let's get started with L-citrulline. It's an amino acid, as I said. It's part of something known that your body does. It's a process, a cycle, so to speak, known as the urea cycle. Some would call it the uric acid cycle. This cycle is a process in which your body gets rid of excess acid in the form of ammonia. Now, somebody might be saying, hang on, ammonia, isn't that in like Windex or something? Yes, it is. It's a, it's a good cleaner, especially on glass. Now, why is it in your body? This is because it's part of the breakdown process of protein. So if you're working out a lot, you're breaking down protein. By definition, you're breaking down your muscle fibers. Also, if you eat a lot of protein, that's going to be a part of the waste product, right? More acid, amino acids. This should make sense. So it's a part of this cycle, and it's a very important cycle. And people take L-citrulline to support this cycle, as when you're working out, you are developing more ammonia or more acid in your body. There are two other amino acids involved in this urea cycle, known as arginine, you've probably heard of that, and ornithine. You may not have heard of that. That's not a very popular supplement, though it does exist. Arginine is actually known as the rate-limiting step of this process. So that's the one you would want to increase. So if that's true, why are people taking L-citrulline? Well, that's a great question, so let's dive into it. There are two main answers for this. Number one, your body tends to better absorb citrulline as opposed to arginine. So if we want to get this urea cycle working even better, we're going to take the thing that your body actually absorbs more, and that happens to be L-citrulline. And number two, when it gets to your kidneys, your body can use that L-citrulline to create arginine as needed. So if we want more arginine, since that is the right limiting step, we take L-citrulline for the better absorption and because your kidneys can turn it into arginine as needed. So as you can imagine, this process, the urea cycle, is going to help us to feel less sore during our workouts because there's going to be less of an acid buildup. So we're taking this to increase plasma, ornithine, and arginine. It also has been shown in research to increase nitric oxide levels, and it will help to decrease fatigue after your workouts to help you get to that next workout even sooner. Now to finish this video up, how much are we taking? Citrulline, if it's in your pre-workout, you'll probably know because it's going to be a bit of a bigger scooper. So most of you have taken creatine before. You're taking three to five grams of that. Citrulline is six to eight grams. So I said you would know if it's in there, and that's because you're going to have kind of a big scooper because it's going to have creatine. And if it's going to have citrulline as well, you're already talking probably 10 to 12 to 13 grams right there. So it's a dead giveaway when you're taking a pre-workout that if it's a big scooper, you're probably going to have some citrulline in there. So for smaller females, you're going to want to be on about the 6-gram range. Bigger males, you're going to want to be at about the 8-gram range for this supplement. Last, if you ever have a supplement that you want to see done, send us a message somehow. Find us on Facebook or comment right in the comment section on this video and let us know. What supplement do you guys want to see? We have a list, but it's an ever-growing list and we want an A to Z library. Thanks for tuning in again. Subscribe, like, share. See you guys next time.